So I know I can speak on behalf of Nadia and I can certainly speak on behalf of myself. The last 12 months have been an incredible experience traveling the world with the Business Traveler Connect team, hopefully bringing you content that you found interesting and beneficial. And the man responsible for this brainchild of content, media content for Business Traveler Connect joins me now, Mr. Barry Ritchie, the Director of Television and Content. And Barry, I mean, as we said, it's been a bit of a phenomenon, but you know, talk us through the genesis of the idea. Well, um, business travel have been around for a long time, since 1976, predominantly in the print business. Um, they developed a website, which has become the number one authority site in the world for first and business class passengers. And working in a digital arena for many years, we brought the concept of making new videos and bring that together with the site that they're running there now. And that was the start of everything, bringing new content to the first and business class passengers and corporate CEOs that use and work with Business Traveller on a monthly basis. Of course, it doesn't matter really now what kind of media you are talking about, short form content seems to be the way to go. So how have you found it when you've been approaching? I mean, some of the brands you've worked with, I'm thinking just off the top of my head, the likes of Singapore Airlines, the likes of Shangri-La Hotels. I mean, blue chip brands that traditionally may have been a bit wary to dip their toe into something new like this. I mean, you found them very receptive. It's, it's not been a particularly hard sell, so to speak. No, not, not whatsoever. And I think, you know, in terms of video content now, as long as you're working with the proper production people and the right teams and you've got distribution, I mean, that's the key with it all, really. Where, in terms of just making videos, it's having videos and coupling them up with a strong distribution platform. And of course, at Business Traveller, we have over 800,000 users every single month on the site. And these are all predominantly first and business class passengers, corporate CEOs, and they're an audience that these type of clients want to engage with. And you know, these guys are very difficult to reach. Um, they travel 27, 80, 30 times a year. Um, but no matter who you are, when you go in the business or first class lounge, you have to wait. And you, whether you be there an hour or however fine you might you know, time it. And that's the time when these guys get the opportunity to engage with what we're doing. And you know, gone are the days of reading pages and pages of text. They can go onto the site, they can look at the destination they're going to, and there'll be a series of videos specifically about that destination, what's going on, what's there, and available to help them. I can certainly vouch for the professionalism and quality of the production team. I've really enjoyed working with them. I mean, going back to that content that you're producing and, and talking about the, the selling of it, trying to get these brands on board, I mean, I suppose one of the advantages is working inside that Business Traveller Connect community, the, the, the geometrics you've got and the instant data you can provide people with who's looking and what they're looking at is a huge help. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, and this is what people need to know at the end of the day. Um, from their perspective, they can get a message out, we create videos for people, um, clients like you say HSBC, Vodafone, big blue chips coming on board. We then take those videos and we put them up on the site within a specific country or city page where it sits for 12 months. So they get access to a reach of almost 8 million of these business and first class tra travellers every single year. So we position them for a year in the market and they have the videos made as well. And you know, we do extra things for the clients. We give clients raw footage back, which is very, very a rare thing in these days. We make them social media versions, little highlights versions for them, and generally look after them you know, for a 12 month package. So what makes it tick is the fact that we make, not only do we produce first class, next level influencer marketing videos, but we distribute them on the site for 12 months, which has an overall reach of over 8 million corporate first and business class passengers. Well, I've only known you for a short amount of time, but through your 30, 40 years experience in the industry, you're clearly a forward thinker. And one of the things that struck me, just from working on these as an outsider, if you like, coming in, is there doesn't appear to be any, any limit to the, the industries and the, you know, the type of sectors you're getting involved in. The hotels and the airlines are obviously yeah. the, the ones that you go to first, but you're, you're even widening the spectrum now and getting a great response. Give, a, give people watching this some idea well, of the other kind of industries that are getting involved. Absolutely. I mean, we started off naturally. It was a natural thing for first and business class passengers, hotels, but now we work with the mice, the venues. We're working with co-working. We've got great work we've just done with the great rooms. We're working in, uh, with Common Ground here in KL. That's a co-working and office spaces, we're working with AIG Insurance, we're working with HSBC Bank, we're working with Vodafone that are working on different products. So it's a wide spectrum of areas that not only want to target businessmen generally, but want to target these high net worth individuals. And to do it through a video, 
where they can get a chance to digest this information, it's very strong for them. So we see that widening up to, I mean, almost anybody that wants to target and get a real proper message over to these people that are very hard to reach traditionally. So obviously you've, you've conquered, conquered is probably the right word, Asia in a relatively short space of time. Is the long-term plan to take this across Europe and other parts of the world, the Americas? Absolutely. Um, in fact, we're, we're doing our first shoot in the Middle East in January in Doha, in Qatar. That's been one of our first ventures out of the Asian sort of circle, so to speak. We've got new offices opening up in Vietnam in March, which I'll be heading up out there, and we'll have a specific team working on different countries all over the world. But 2020 will take us into Europe. We'll be working in, across all the Scandinavian countries. We're working in Germany, within the UK. We'll also be going into uh, several states in uh, the, the United States as well next year. So we're very excited about where this is going and how it's all rolling out. So it's grown incredibly quickly in a short space of time, but your thoughts on 20 20 is it's going to grow and an even more absolutely exaggerated absolutely rate. I mean we've seen growth like nothing else I mean when we first started this of course we, we didn't have any videos we you know we had a development site that we had in process we was looking at it was a concept but we knew we had that audience so it was first of, you know finding the right crews finding the right production companies we don't use freelancers we use dedicated crews that work with us all of the time so they get to understand the brand they get to understand what we're doing and, and what our clients are trying to achieve so that's the first part of the secret sauce and obviously then widening it out across the whole world on the platform but the reaction that we're getting now that we're showing people what we've done for hotels like the Ritz Carlton, um, the Mulia, the second Shangri-La we're filming here, the Garden Resorts um, uh, hotel and residences here in Kuala Lumpur. We're working with clients that read as a who's who of some of the best companies in Asia and the Middle East so I think when it comes to other clients now being able to see the work that we've done for them, to see that the results they're getting, you know, the videos that we post up in weeks are getting thousands of views. And these are not bums on seats, these are brains on seats. You know, these are wealthy, affluent individuals, CEOs, business owners, partners. The all decision fine. makers. The real yep. decision makers. These are the movers and the shakers, and we reach them in a way that, with information on video that's digestible to them and is of interest and it helps them on their trips wherever they travel worldwide. So there you have it, the story of the incredible rise in 2019 of Business Traveller Connect and long may it continue into 2020. And Barry, uh, you're a great talker, so I'm going to leave the last word to you on this. What, what little phrase for you would sum up the ethos of what you've got going on at Business Traveller Connect? Well, I, I suppose to inspire the desire for our users, 8 million a year, to work and engage with the clients we present on video. That's what it is. It's all about engagement and what we create with our influencer marketing videos is a platform that really does inspire the desire. Yeah. Inspire to desire like that. Very many thanks indeed. Lovely, thank you Great very much. Great to have you with us in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you. Barry Ritchie, the Director of Television and Content at Business Traveller Connect. Mm -hmm.